Here with head coach Wolf Koch after the Warhawks defeat uh, Kaiser University 4-1 in the opening match of the Capital City Classic. Coach uh, uh, started out a little sluggish, but uh, I found an equalizer there in the uh, midway through the first half and then uh, really turned it on in the second half. Sure did. Um, I thought the heat got to us. Certainly, um, we looked very sluggish to begin the game. Anything that we had written down for the game plan, we didn't do. So um, I think some of our guys maybe were still in the changing room when we came out and um, certainly displayed itself in the way we started the match. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, up top, Alex and Yannick had a nice game for us each, uh, uh, kind of complimenting each other. Uh, two assists for Alex and a, go or, yeah, two assists and a goal from Alex and two goals and assists from Yannick. Talk about those two guys. Yeah, I mean, you know, those are the usual suspects. We, we rely heavy on both of them. Um, to, to, to finish their chances and, and get us goals. But, you know, I can't be proud of, just proud of them. I have to be proud of the whole team, the way we played today. You know, when all the freshmen contributed today because it was just so stinking humid. Um, you know, from the goalkeeping with Phillip saving a penalty kick, uh, Willie York, um, you know, Nick Davis in his first collegiate goal is, um, yeah, great, great experience for those guys. Yeah, talk a little bit more about Philip. He had uh, not only the penalty kick, but also several one-on-one -on -one opportunities that he uh, swatted away there. Uh, just talk a little bit about how uh, how uh, he's been uh, uh, in goal, not only today, but also uh, early on the season. Yeah, you know, that's why we, we recruited him. Um, he, he, he needed to step up in, in preseason and in the preseason games. It was a three-way battle to, to see who's our number one and um, you know, I thought he, he was spectacular in goal today. Not early on, you know, he made a couple of mistakes. One of them that led to their goal, the, the punch, um, and then ball dropping in the penalty area and nobody reacting to it except their forward. You know, it was a bit irritating, but um, overall, I mean, what can I say? He saves a penalty kick. He had a great save of that one header. He saved a couple of one-on-ones. Um, I think he's coming into his own, and you know, for us to go deep into any playoff this year, we need to have good goalkeeping, and um, I'm very happy that we have him. Uh, last question, Coach. Uh, it doesn't get easier from here. A quick turnaround on Monday, and uh, uh, you play the preseason number two team in the nation. Uh, talk a little bit about what the key is uh, as we uh, as we look to recover and uh, and take on uh, Northwestern Ohio. Yeah, I think Monday. the key for us was to to pull people out 20 minutes into the second half and, and, and start the recovery phase for some of our key players. You know, we pulled Grobelny out, we pulled Falak out, we pulled Neubart out um, and let some of the young guys, you know, finish up and, and, and finish strong, which they did. You know, we got another goal with all these guys out. Um, I think that's um, built a tremendous amount of confidence for these guys. And, um, you know, again, second day, second game in a row, we, we trail and we come back and then we end up winning pretty decisively today. And so it shows great character. Absolutely. Well, Coach, congratulations. Warhawks improved to 4-0. We'll try to get another one Monday. Congratulations. Right, thank you. Go Warhawks.